All right, today we're gonna do um, an entity that is sort of a nice detail entity, and um, it looks nice. It, it adds a little element of detail to your map, and it's the rope entity, which allows us to create ropes and power cables and things like that. And uh, you see a lot of this in the Half-Life 2 maps. So we're gonna make a few samples, show you how to put it in. It's pretty simple to put in. Um, they're affected by wind, so when we add our wind entities, you'll understand, or you'll at least get an effect out of these as the wind blows. Things like our hinges and our uh, trash and our ropes will all get kind of jostled by the wind. So in our sample today, I used the uh, power pole entity here. So we're going to start out by just placing a few of these. So for today's lesson, I want you to do at least three. Obviously on your map, you can do as many as you want. But for today's sample, I want you to do at least three. And you'll see why, because it, it sort of sets up how you create multiples of these wires. So th the prop we're going to use is our entity tool. We're going to use a prop static. And the name of the prop that I selected, if you go to world model, browse, type in pull, you're going to see that there's several different variations of the utility pole here. So um, pick whichever one you want, doesn't matter. You can mix them up or you know however you want. There's wooden ones and I think if you go down further here there's some, yeah, there's some metal ones down here further. So pick a utility pole, doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to use this two wire pole but you can pick whatever makes you happy. All right, so I'm going to go with this one and click apply. All right, so there's my prop that we're gonna attach to. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to attach our cable to it. So you can see I've already strung a rope or cable between these three poles here. So I want you to go ahead and put in three poles And then once you've done that, and you've placed your three power poles, we're going to use the entity called Move Rope. Right. We're going to take that Move Rope entity, and we're going to attach it to the top of the power pole here. So I'm going to take my selection tool, and here's my rope right here, or my Move Rope. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it to where the power pole's at. Now I've already got one there, so I'm gonna move it to the other side. So I'm gonna put it right there. And then from the side view, I'm gonna go ahead and move it up and put it up here. And let's see if I got it in the right spot. All right, that'll work. Okay, so I've put this entity, this is called a move rope. And I put it, you know, right about where the power cable would connect on this utility pole. We're going to name it. So I'm going to go ahead and call this um, wire to attach because I've got wire one next to it. And I'll click apply. All right. Now the next step is we're going to go to the next pole over here. And we're going to add an entity called a keyframe rope. Okay, keyframe rope. And same thing, we're gonna take this entity and we're gonna go ahead and place it where the wire would attach on the pole. Bring this up to the top. There we go. Place it there. Okay. Now you'll notice on the one I've already done, I've got this nice droopy cable, but for some reason these two guys didn't connect. So what we need to do is I need to take this keyframe and I am going to name this wire B. Okay, so I put a number at the end of it. 
Now I'm going to go back to my original connection here, which is the move rope. And where it says next keyframe, I want it to be that other piece. Now, if you forgot what it is, you can use this little eyedropper. And I can just fly over here. And I can select the other one. Okay. So if you don't remember what it is, you can always use the little eyedropper. Well, when I hit Z, it kicks me out of that mode, though. So that does make it a little bit more difficult. There we go. Okay. Or you can just manually type it in. But that's what the eyedropper is for, if you, ever need, if you were ever wondering what it was for. It allows you to click on an entity and select it. All right. So here's the important thing. At the beginning of the wire... This is a move rope, and I named it. The second segment over here is a keyframe rope, and I gave it a name. So I called it wire B2. If you go back to the original connection, where it says next keyframe, you put the name of the next place that it's going to. So I'm going from here. To there. Now if I back up a little bit you'll notice my other wire is drooping quite a bit more. And that's because there's a slack setting here. So on this one my move rope, my very first piece of this, if you look down here where it says slack, this is how much extra cable it's going to add to it. So I'm going to go ahead and add like, I don't know, let's do 115 see what it looks like all right so I think I did a hundred on the other one and I kind of like not matching them up perfectly so they don't look exactly the same cool all right so I'm happy with that so now we're gonna go to our keyframe this one here so we have our first connection we droop here's my second connection my keyframe now from here forward this is why I had you put in three poles the next connection is really simple to make. So what we're gonna do is from this pole, okay, so here's my three poles right here. So I've already made this connection. So this guy right here, all I have to do is hold down shift, click drag, which makes a copy, and then I'm gonna drag that keyframe over to the other pole and the engine automatically names it in sequence and tells this guy right here that it's going to connect to that one. Now you'll notice there's no slack in this line, right? So let's open this guy up. You can see it automatically created the new keyframe over here. And it also automatically named it B3 and it automatically filled this one in with the next keyframe. So when I did a shift click drag, which is our copy from this guy, and I dragged it over to here, it automatically named it and told this one that it's its next destination. Now for Slack, um, I don't know, let's do a hundred on this one. All right. Now, just for demonstration, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one more connection here. All right. So for you guys, what I want you to do is I want three poles with two wires running the length. So I pretty much want you to make what I've made here. Two utility poles, or I'm sorry, three utility poles, two wires that go the whole distance with slightly different slack between them just to give it a little bit of interest. But I want to show you how that... Um, how the, the editor will automatically make a new keyframe for you when you do this. So I'm going to take this guy right here and I'm going to go ahead and connect it to this pole right here. All right, so watch how easy this is. I'm going to go shift, click, drag, and I'm going to go ahead and bring it over to wherever my pole is at, which I think it's this right here. 
or not. And then I'm going to move it down to that pulse. So let's find it. So I'm going to grab it, drag it. Oh, I think I'm looking at a different hinge, so I'm going to pull it over a little bit further here. Oh yeah, I'm going way over here. There we go. Sometimes working on the multiple screens gets hard because I'm clicking on the wrong, um, the wrong screen. All right, so we see I took this keyframe, I made a copy and dragged it over to here. So the editor automatically filled that in for me. Now I'm gonna go back to the original one, this guy right here. I'm gonna give it a little bit of slack. So for this one, I'm just gonna do like 65 and see how that looks. Yeah, let's go a little bit more on that. Let's do 85. That'll work. Okay. So that is the rope entity. We can use it to create ropes. We can use it to create power cables. Um, if we look back at the entity here, Our slack is really important. This is how much the rope hangs. Subdivision is how many pieces or how detailed the slack is gonna be. Um, you can go up to eight on this. The higher you go, the more power it's supposed to take to render it. We shouldn't really have a problem on our modern computers, but you know, it's worth uh, playing around with. Um, this is a test effect. It, all it does is it really makes it look jagged, so it looks kind of like barbed wire. I, I wouldn't put it anywhere that the player can get close to it because it doesn't look that good. But if you were doing like some uh, wire across the top of a wall that the player couldn't get to, this will look nice. Um, everything else you can pretty much leave the way it is. We haven't done wind yet, so once we do wind, these cables will sway. All right, and that is the rope and the keyframe rope entities.